tell us what the opposition wants. If the left wing does come back to power, in my view, they'll never leave power, and this country will follow the same path as Venezuela, Argentina, Chile, Colombia. Brazil will become one more wagon on that train. The losers will be the Brazilian population, and also the left wing itself. The left wing voters will lose as a result. All of South America will be colored red, if you understand me. And in my view, the United States will become virtually an isolated country in the world. That was Tucker Carlson interviewing Jair Messias Bolsonaro, the tropical Trump. I think he's exaggerating a little. In fact, I don't believe in communism, socialism. To me, all politicians are crooks. <laughs> That's all there is to it. They're just parasites, as Millet states very well here in Argentina. But at any case, the left is back in Brazil and they will be back everywhere. Uh, I think the right, the right wing just lost on how it can win elections. Donald Trump is not going to be the next president in America. I don't think so anyway. DeSantis is not going to be the president. The next president of America will be a liberal. I think Kamala Harris has a good shot. At any case, here in my game, my prisoner tried to escape the goddamn communist. If there is one communist in America, sir, I say that's one too many. I love that line of that movie that I'm going to show you right now. If there is one communist in America, sir, I say that's one too many. As you can see here, Bolsonaro is hurt. Yes. <laughs> So Millet is going to have to take care of both the prisoner and Bolsonaro, the Brazilian myth. Because Bolsonaro has a small tear on his eyes because he just lost the elections here. And, you know, the situation in Brazil, it's, it's, it's like a, a never-ending nightmare. <laughs> As you can see here, Millet is taking care of Bolsonaro, who is... Javier Millet, you might ask. He's a congressman here in Argentina, a libertarian, anarcho-capitalist, really funny, really entertaining, really smart. He loves economics. It's not everything that I agree with Millet, but I do agree when Millet calls everybody in politics crooks, parasites that shouldn't even exist. I agree with that man one million percent right there. And I think he brings up, he puts the finger where it hurts. <laughs> That's our Javier Gerardo Millet. He's still naked <laughs> because he came here to this libertarian planet with no clothes, no guns, no food, no money, no nothing. And as you can see, my colony, my libertarian anarcho-capitalist colony is getting beautiful. So Millet did a, a very nice job. You must have a character good with construction and plans for the very least when you start this amazing, really good game made by Tynan Sylvester. I think it's Canadian. And it was actually banned in Australia. <laughs> I hope we have a, a judge in the Supreme Court in Brazil that's banning everybody, that's, that's shutting down Everybody who doesn't agree with his name is Alexandre de Moraes. Yes, I just know he would ban this game if he ever find out about it <laughs> because it has, you know, drugs, cannibalism, human meat, s slaves, <laughs> really violent. You can get, sometimes this game gets really violent. And the problem with it is that you actually get to care about the characters, so you do not want any of them to die, as I don't want even my, my communist prisoner that's in my gulag, <laughs> my personal gulag, I don't want him to die, so I'm taking care of him, I'm feeding him, he tried to escape, <laughs> you see how Millet has, has his knife in hand, he's trying to enslave <laughs> my prisoner, amazing, amazing game, I recommend you to take a look at it on Steam, it has a rating of 
98% positive, you know, almost 100 players really enjoyed Dream World. I think it's excellent. It even helps me, helps me sleep because I suffer from insomnia. So this game actually helps. I even like the art of it. Characters do not have arms or legs. They're just sticks with heads and lots of character. <laughs> I still need to change the looks in my characters to see if they match more the real lives. Bolsonaro and Javier Millet. Millet is really growing here in Argentina. I think he has a good shot at becoming the very uh, next president of Argentina. That will be a very interesting year here. If you, if you like politics, I recommend you to take a look at the Argentinian politics once in a while. This is a smaller video, just an update, and I'm still going to recommend you to take a look at Sam Seeders, the Majority Report channel. He has tons of, of libertarian debates, all of them really funny, interesting, and entertaining. See you in the next. See ya. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.